Hello everyone, and welcome or welcome back to the Lux Fifth Wheels channel. Toy haulers have been a constant on the channel lately because they're extremely popular with our owners. And what we hope to show with all our videos is how you can personalize your very own. So today I'm going to try and not only point out what is personalized, but what is standard for our toy haulers. This is the Lux 48 FB toy hauler, and we have it in the patio position, which is rated for 1,500 pounds, and in the ramp position, it is rated for 3,000 pounds. The railing, patio stairs, and patio awning are all options. Here for the garage entry door are the standard stairs. We see a lot of the step above entries on our coaches, but having the standard stairs for the garage maximizes the room inside. Of course, we have to mention the striking tsunami scheme. The orange and the turquoise pop off in the gray. And the tsunami scheme is not standard with our toy haulers. The standard is a two color scheme, a base, and an accept. At the main entrance, we have the optional step above entry stairs. Standard are the ones we saw on the garage door. Standard with all of our coaches is the Bluetooth radio and marine grade speakers. Moving to the slide out, I want to point out two things. First is the continuation of the paint mask onto the sidewall. Standard would just be a base color. Above the slide out roof is a slide topper, which is an option to add to extra protection to the slide and to keep debris away. The slide up front is something we'll discuss further on the inside, but I wanted to mention our toy haulers are standard to have three slides total. Owners of this coach have already picked it up by the time this video is released, and I asked them what was their favorite part about their coach. Her response was the kitchen, and it is beautiful. The boo seating is standard along with residential sized fridge. Normal features of this toy hauler kitchen are the insignia cooktop, convection microwave, and your choice of real backsplash. The personalized options in the kitchen are the 30 inch residential stove, the flip up countertop, and the gray bottom cabinetry with beach front for the top. The living area has all the typical features, 4K smart TV, 5000 BTU furnace, and the L-shaped sofa that pulls out and has storage underneath. Here at the base of the stairs we have the optional sweeper vac. Into the bathroom, we can get closer up to the beautiful backsplash. Overhead is the medicine cabinet. And over to the residential panel shower with rain glass door. Standard is the one piece fiberglass um, and the rain glass is an option, not standard. Going into the bedroom, the owners opted for the vanity slide and the elite walk-in closet. This offers extra space between the bed and the dresser as well as give the option for the Elite Style Closet. We just did a video showing the differences between the vanity slide and the standard toy hauler bedroom and I will link that in the description below. The end tables have 110 USB combos and individual reading lights which are standard along with the king size bed and there is storage underneath. Into the walk-in closet are matching dressers, 110 outlets the shoe rack, and of course the hanging rod above. Swinging over to the vanity slide itself with mounted TV, the cabinet for storage, and an egress window. And now we're going to head to the garage. I've been told by the owners that the garage is meant to be a man cave. The hand laid residential tiled was continued into the garage to continue the home like feel. 
We have the Happy Jack system with the fold down couches. The black box there is a toolbox and extra storage. Onto the back patio so you can get a good look. Without the three season veranda doors and the half bath, the 48FB can have a garage length of 16 feet and 9 inches. Plenty of overhead storage, including the loft. And going over to the half bath, they went with a macerator toilet. Thank you for joining me on this walkthrough. If you have any questions, drop a comment or give us a call and we'll see you next time.